I'm Ty Quinones, and right now on your 13 Action News update, well, some state lawmakers want to make it illegal for a person to sell or possess so-called ghost guns. Now, these type of weapons do not have a serial number, and they are assembled part by part. But ghost guns are not subject to the same rules as most guns, and buyers can even avoid getting a background check. But murders in Las Vegas have now risen dramatically in the first months of this year. A Metro right now is reporting a 110% increase in homicides compared to 2020. Right now you're looking at a breakdown of where these murders are happening. Now this time last year there were 10, but so far this year now there have been 21. As you can see, all of it is really happening across the valley. Now the most is in the Metro's Convention Center Area Command, which mainly covers the Strip and the surrounding areas. Well, you may have noticed some work being done at Allegiant Stadium. Crews right now are taking down the large screen on the side facing the 15. Officials with the Raiders tell 13 Action News that they are making some improvements to the screen over the next few months. A gusty wind developing Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night that lingers into Wednesday morning. So as you wake up to start your day, expect sunshine and temperatures in the upper 40s, low 50s, but gust speed still close to 25, 30 miles per hour. Wind will calm down for the second half of your Wednesday as cloud cover starts to move in. Highs climb to the upper 60s. We'll stay in the 60s through the end of the week under a mix of sun and clouds with a light breeze. But this weekend, big changes as a ridge of high pressure builds that clears out our cloud cover, keeps our conditions calm and warms our temperatures close to 80 by the start of next week. All right, warm changes coming. Danny, thank you. And that was your 13 Action News update. Remember, you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.